You ever wonder how they came up with $40 billion in damages right off the bat here on this hurricane? Still early, by the way. Uh, well, Tracy Carrasco has been crunching a lot of numbers. Tracy, what do you got? Now, you know, we're seeing images of damage from Harvey already uh, coming in, but we're really far from knowing the full extent of how catastrophic and costly it will be. CoreLogic, though, is estimating the potential price tag for damage to be at least $40 billion in reconstruction costs, with more than 200,000 homes at risk of storm surge, surge damage. In Texas alone, the figure doesn't account for storm surges as far north as Morgan City, Louisiana. That's some 400 miles away from Harvey's landfall. However, according to FEMA, Hurricane Katrina is still the costliest hurricane in U.S. history, destroying some 300,000 homes and causing 180 billion dollars in damage. Now that's roughly four times the amount of damage caused by Hurricane Andrew in 1992. And coincidentally, Thursday marked the 25-year anniversary since Andrew slammed into South Florida. It was the last Category 5 storm to hit the U.S. and its impact is still felt today by those who survived it. Andrew caused nearly $25 billion in damage, destroying more than 25,000 homes and damaging 100,000 others. But Texas also has its own history of deadly storms that cause billions of dollars in damage. Harvey's the first significant hurricane to hit Texas since Ike in September 2008. Ike was one of the most destructive hurricanes to ever hit Texas and one of the deadliest. It brought winds of 110 miles per hour to Galveston and Houston areas and caused $22 billion in damage and killed 84 people. Harvey is also the first big storm along the middle Texas coast since Hurricane Claudette in 2003 when it caused $180 million in damage. And now Harvey is hitting the same area as Hurricane Carla in 1961. Carla came ashore with wind gusts estimated at 175 miles per hour and caused more than $300 million in damage. So time will tell where Harvey's impact will be remembered in history. But today, people in Texas are hoping it stays far from this list. Neil? All right, Tracy, thank you very, very much.